Behind the closed doors of the homicide office, Lee Oswald is being questioned about the killing of President Kennedy. At the other end of the hall, Chief Jesse Curry is answering questions concerning the events leading up to the arrest of Lee Oswald. Communist or Marxist? There's a slight well, difference. I don't know. Yeah, he, uh, they say he said he was a communist now. Hey, Chief, did the FBI or your department have <clears throat> him under surveillance prior to yesterday? No, sir, we didn't have knowledge that he was in the city. Did the FBI? I understand that they did know he was here and had uh, interviewed him uh, oh, a week or two ago. Did they warn you of his presence in the city? No, they had not at the, at the time we, uh, up till yesterday. Do you think they should have? Well, they usually do. They, they keep us informed. Uh, if we don't have knowledge of it, they usually, uh, in liaison with us, they usually uh, let us know when these uh, communist sympathizers or subversives come into the city and uh, why they hadn't gotten around to uh, informing us of this man I don't know can you detail for us Oswald's movements yesterday before and after the assassination as you know them now all I know about it is that a man brought him to work yesterday morning he had a large package with him which we believe to be the rifle uh, the next we know of him a, a porter in the building took him up to the sixth floor at uh, shortly after 12 o'clock and uh, he was next seen on the second or third floor in a lunchroom in the building by whom and after the assassination was it? after the assassination but one of the first officers that went into the building and the manager of the building the next the next knowledge we have of the man is when he uh, shot our officer over in Oak Cliff why is it that he was not arrested when the officer saw him the first time? Because the manager said he was an employee. He said, he's all right, he's an employee. Gee, and in the know. rush to go to get up to the floor where the shooting occurred, uh, the officer passed him on by on, uh, with the, uh, when the manager told him that this is one of the employees. Chief, are you aware of a letter that he is supposed to have written to Governor Connolly when Governor Connolly was Secretary of the Navy and when he was an enlisted man in the Marine Corps asking to have his dishonorable discharge set aside and which request was refused. No, sir, I, I don't know. I this up because I have heard this report and it might indicate that his actual target may have been the governor of Texas instead of the president of the United States. I don't know anything about it. Is it your belief that his actual target was the president of the yes, United I States? Yes, I think it was. I think do, it was him. Do you have any evidence to support that belief? No, sir. You Except no that he hit the president twice. I, and he apparently was an expert marksman, and he apparently was hitting what he was shooting at. Can you estimate the range from the window from which the shots were fired to the car in which the men were hit? I would estimate it about 75 yards. 75 yards on the slant. Now, what did you find in his marksman? apartment, uh, Chief? Did you find some well, communist literature in his apartment? Yes, we did. Mm -hmm. Chief, you said that the FBI usually informs you if uh, these so suspected subversives are in a are in your community uh were there others uh, if for instance if they had informed you about oswald what would you have done would you have taken special precautions on him with the president coming to town i don't know what we would have done there is no normal procedure for this type of thing that's right do you think that the assassination could have been avoided chief I don't know how the FBI knew he was here. But they did evidently interview him. When did they tell you this, Chief? Yesterday. They, they told you yesterday after the interview. Did they yes. say what they had, what information they had gotten from him? If they had, they evidently, did they indicate that it wasn't enough to warrant telling you in advance? I don't know. Do did you, you have think anybody they... under custody yesterday before the shooting? Anyone else? No, we, we didn't have anyone in custody. We, uh, uh, we knew the movements of some people. How many? Oh, less than a half a dozen. Five. Maybe. Were they being watched? Well, we knew where they were. His marksmanship, was that something he perfected in the Marines? or That I don't know. Chief, I hate to think, uh, keep on about the power of the test, but if it's on both hands, it would indicate that he handled the rifle. Do you know it? Uh, what they I don't know. I, I imagine they took it on both hands. I only saw them taking it on one hand when I was in there. They were working on one well, hand. There's a, a report that detective, one of the detectives, the name of Brown, and said that the power of the test in both hands the they probably did huh? this, indicates, both hands. this indicates this uh, indicates that he only started started all i know is this i have the information not officially i haven't yeah. had a report that was positive on both hands do you fire a handgun will it show up on your hands yes 
as opposed to a shoulder. What does the paraffin test prove then, Chief? It just proved that the man fired a weapon. But you believe he is the man who fired the rifle that killed the president? Yes, I do. Did the FBI tell you... From the office of Dallas Police Chief Jesse Curry, we have been receiving details about the movements of Lee Oswald before and after the assassination of President Kennedy. The chief has made a point of the fact that the FBI, while holding Oswald under surveillance prior to the president's visit, did not alert his department of that fact. This is Tom Pettit, NBC News, reporting from the office of Chief Jesse Curry of the Dallas Police Department.